what's going on y'all so i'm back again so this next video we're gonna talk about tips for going local so if you're getting into the industry yes you can come straight out of cdl school and get a local job now i want you to keep in mind though if you're coming straight out of school i hope you know what you're about to get yourself into you know and this is why a lot of companies you know they require that uh over the road experience or just trucking experience before you go local because local is a whole different world compared to otr now before somebody says oh you still hit tight docks otr you do i did otr so i know but local you know you're gonna be uh in the city all day you know or you could be in the country too but you could be in the city all day so let's take a major city let's use eh, let's use chicago so if you're fresh out of cdl school are you gonna be able to blindside off the street in chicago down the back alley are you gonna know um if you have to set up for a tight dock are you gonna know to go against traffic to go like this to set up are you gonna know to do a button hook are you gonna know some of these things? So before you go local, I say this, make sure you're good at backing. Now I'm not saying you have to be the world's greatest backer because there's gonna be times when you go local where you're just gonna hit some docks that you can't hit, you know? So what do you do in that situation, you know? Some places you're gonna have no choice but to get it in, I don't know what to tell you. Now some places you might have to unload from the street you know, you might have to literally be in the road. Some of them, you might have to just stay in the median in a forklift will unload you from there. Um, I would say too, before you go local, you need to have patience for them four wheelers. I, if you don't take nothing from this video, make sure you can back and make sure you have patience with those four wheelers because those four wheelers, oh my God, they're gonna, they're gonna get under your skin. I can promise you that, you know, you're gonna have the four wheeler that's parked in the loading zone you're going to have the four wheeler that uh, is in your path from um, backing. You're going to have that time when you have to go inside and try to track down the soccer mom that left her van in the way. You're going to have the Karen that's going to refuse to back up so you can complete your turn. You know, so you're going to have a lot of obstacles when you're backing. You know, you could be backing down a back alley, you could be backing between cars you know you also have to pay attention in the city you have to make sure you pay attention for low clearance bridge uh by the way 136 uh you have to pay attention to uh low branches you know trees hanging low you know so in an instance like that you might have to ride on the wrong side of the road just so you don't scrape the top of your trailer you know um you're going to have to deal with shifting, you know, because some of these local companies, I've said in other videos, they're not going to have the 2022s or the 2023 uh, trucks. You know, some of them, they might have the 2006 Columbias or the uh, old Volvos or the old International. You get my point. Some of the equipment might be old, you know, local. You have to be good with time management. Before somebody said, well, you have to have good time management OTR. You do. But local, you know, it's a good chance you're going to have multiple deliveries. You know, this will apply like if you're in food service, if you do uh, P&D, you know, you're going to have multiple deliveries. So you're going to have to know how to manage your time. That way you get your deliveries off. You're going to have to know what time this particular shipper goes to lunch or what time this consignee goes to lunch. You know, you have to be able to manage your time. That way you can get your pickups done. You know, now if you're in the P and D world, you know, you guys already know whatever you don't deliver, it's going back in that trailer on top of the next day's freight. So make sure when you go local, you are good with time management. Make sure you know how to balance your uh, your sleep schedule. Make sure you know how to balance time with your family. You know, and expect to work long hours. You know, another thing, depending on what you do local. Be prepared to go back in that trailer and touch some freight. You know, it ain't like your OTR where you just bump dock and uh, capstone or you all know the lumber service. It ain't like capstones will come back there 
and unload you when you're local. You know, some of these local companies, you know, it's going to be you in that pallet jack or it might be you in your two hands. So be prepared for that. Now, before somebody say that's not always true, local guys get lumper service, too. They do. They do. But you also got to keep in mind, those lumpers take their time. My OTR people, y'all know that, you know. Um, when you're local, you know, you might go to a Walmart DC and any driver who's been to Walmart, y'all already know how long you're going to sit there. So you got to decide, do I wait on uh, Capstone to unload me or do I get back there and I do what I need to do so I can get to my next delivery point? That's up for you to decide. But um, what else could I tell y'all? Um, how could I forget? Make sure when you're local, you get out and look. I can't stress that enough because like I said in my earlier points, you know, you have a lot of obstacles. You have a lot of things to look at. So you need to constantly be looking in your two mirrors constantly. Um, and like I said earlier, just make sure you have patience because those four wheelers, they're going to test you. You know, they are. They are. Um, and again, make sure you know how to drive a manual because you might go to a convey that has only manual transmission. So those are just some tips I can give you for um, being local. Now, as far as money in local, people say there's no money in local. That's not true. Um, since I left OTR, I've made more money uh, with the local situation. So yeah, hopefully those tips will help y'all. So as I always tell y'all, thank you to all my new subscribers. And my day one subscribers, I appreciate all y'all. Make sure y'all hit that like button, leave your comments, hit the bell, and I will catch y'all in the next one.